right, guys, down the hallway, you can hear me. Out here on the 4020, raking up some hay. Got the double rakes in here behind us. Got your one rake here, next one back there. Days. Come up here and make a turn here. Yeah, I'll watch that back one swing around sometime just a little. And a big old bird like to sit up there on a smoke jacket and strap on our hood. I spun all this with the 1086 the other day. I prefer international myself, but hey, you take what you can get, right? that back rig, sometimes that dolly will catch it. Pretty good tractor too. Can't complain too much about it. This tractor's got about 600 pounds of weights on the front of it. PTO's got a click in it, so all we use it for is a raking tractor. We have to get these weights off there one day. It's, I don't know if you can see them up there or not, but it's a little heavy on the front end, but it still steers. It's probably close to the easiest thing I've ever driven. But watch it. Make sure you don't hit that tree there. Bring it right out around. Alrighty. Got her nice and close. Usually y'all got well, Justin out there doing the videos. See? Now him on the 42 I farm all guy. I got, I'm his older brother. And he's over there. And he's changing some flat tires on the baler. So, hey, okay, put me to raking, and here we go. Hey, run right about six gear. The tacks don't work on this. Half and three quarters throttle. Play with the throttle a little bit. Might idle it down a little bit on the turn. around around here. Yeah, yeah, 
sometimes when you walk that tall, it catches it like that. Open her up and up the hill we go. Ground. There's a patch about halfway through the strip there. Runs from the top to the bottom of the field. It's real rough. But this is, I guess it's your usual hay field, just a little, little bumps and dips in it every once in a while. There, but now uh, we'll let her check along. Make her come up and make her turn here, swing out a little bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, there goes the dolly, but uh, we got it. Open her up and down we go. Now run a little bit more this way. There we go. That dolly there runs off the hydraulics. If you aren't holding the camera, I can usually drive it just as long as I drive the tractor. But don't have two hands right now, so we'll just leave it there and it's up where we're driving. Pretty good, I can't tell. We got a 720 and a 1086 down there. The 720 pretty much just runs the center. The 1086 goes between the disc mine and the baler. The 1086 is pretty much the only thing we have over on that disc mine. The 4020 might do it, but it'd be about the top end of it, so. There we go, nice turn there. We'll let her right her down along the hill here. Yeah, there's your 1086 or 720. Like I said, her Baylor's new hole in 316 and pan thrower works pretty good. Pan kicker, I take that back. Pan kicker. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, it's got a flat tire. We've got our two kicker wagons there, and I'll tell you what, if you're ever gonna get a wagon like that for hay, Go 9 by 18 for these square bales. They work the best. Because everything's three foot long. Should be, anyhow. Go ahead and open her up a little bit here. Here you got a six-cylinder diesel motor. Uh, oh, there's some holes. Oh, Nelly. There we go. Okay. Missed a little bit there, but oh well. Six-cylinder diesel motor. She runs about, turn about 90 or well, 80 or 90. Not quite 100. But she does pretty good. 